Hello everyone and welcome to Stormworks. So another quick video on the seven segments. Uh, in this case we're just going to be using the basic mode and just displaying a large number. Um, so let's get right into it. Let's build our sweet little platform. Oops. That doesn't help. Get out of here. First of all, again, we are in advanced mode, so um, just for the fun of it, let's choose a super large battery. We are going to choose a the instrument panel. And, you know, this time, so this is, a, we're going to do, this is a thousand, hundred thousand. So we'll do, let's do a hundred thousand. And we need a small keypad. So let's set up our panel. So I'm going to start from the right because this is going to be like, you know, zero to nine. This is going to be our tens, our hundreds, a thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands slot. So I want to do channel one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this I'm just going to blank out so it doesn't distract us in any way. Uh, you will notice that this is really, really new, really updated. Uh, and if you had time to play with it, you'll see they only have one seven segment now. Display mode, we'll, we'll be using number. We're not going to use the complicated on off. So just numbers so this means we could just put a number to it and it'll display it channel one and then as we go across so we are going to increase our channels two these are none none and just to show you that this is updated so have they they have some bar segments radial segments seven segments flip buttons this one i'm kind of excited for actually um, but I'm not going to get into these or at all. I'm not going to waste your time. Three. Seven segment. Four. None. None. Seven segment. Five. Seven. Oh, I hit tab. Boop. Let's do this again. Seven and six, five. Okay. So here comes the complicated part. We are going to create a microcontroller. Large number. Uh, basically, we just need a input for the number. There we go. And we need to output our composite, which will go to the dial pads. Uh, number coming in, segment going out. So we will write a number. This is new here. Watch this. Channel started one and how many channels we want. So we have six. So we're going to go channel one, two, three, four, five, six. It's very cool. I was playing this earlier today and, you know, probably about five hours ago, maybe more, um, where I just was showing off my new tanker train. So I have a couple of videos up if you see my channel that I have a SD70M-2 CN rail train. And I just built the tanker car. They all interconnect. Anyway, you'll see. I was just pl playing with that today. And this is wasn't even here yet. So this is really new. So now comes a tricky part. We need a function. We're going to have a function for every one of those seven segments. So let's put down one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and going from top to, bo top to bottom, I'm just going to line them up. And then this guy connects to all these. Now, the formula is complicated. And I will not be explaining the formula, but I will show you how it looks and the method that I use to kind of keep it easy in my mind. Now, yes, you can rewrite this in a different way. Uh, if anyone has an easier formula, um, please do share with the community and let us know. Uh, anyway, so let's continue this. 10 to the power of zero, and my 10%. Oh, I am forgetting a bracket. So what you'll see here is, is this number here will always be less than the channel. So this is gonna be channel one, so it's zero. When I come here, channel two, which is number one. This is the particular reason why I decided to use powers. So uh, it just makes it easier for me to track which channel it's going to. Five. Um, that's about it. So I do have a sub segment there. I'll just replace it. That's fine. So that's it. So again, our number's coming in. We have our function. And then it goes to each channel. And you'll see 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1. So this is just basically like 1, 100, this equals 100, 1,000, or 110, yeah, 100,000, 10 thousandths place, 100 thousandths place. Let's put it in. Uh, oop. and let's hook everything up. So we'll start off with the power. And no, you don't need this. This is just, you know, it never gets used. It's getting lonely, so. And don't forget your number. Spawn it in. Oh, I think I forgot to put power. Let's... I forgot power. There we go. It's a little funny. So let's say we do one, two, three, four, five. Or if we do one hundred six thousand five six two. One, two, zero, five, six, two. So, I mean, this could be anything. This number, obviously we're just using it to generate, but it could be, you know, like your RPMs or speed, you know, wind condition, whatever, you know, whatever your imagination. But that is basically about it.